Hello guys and welcome to another very quick tutorial. Today it's going to be about PubMed and Web of Science. PubMed is the largest and one of the oldest electronic databases you can find and it's the database of all scientific papers all around the world and what I mean by this is that if the original article is not written in English but there is a English translation of the title and of the abstract sometimes, then very likely you will find it in this database. Okay, and what is Web of Science? Well, it's like PubMed. It's a huge, huge database of basically, again, all possible English papers, but it has one more feature to it, which is a very crucial feature, and that is a citation count or in other words you can call it a citation database well and why this is so crucial well because once you know how many times papers from a specific journal were cited you can start ranking the journals and this is exactly what we want you to do is to look into better journals so once again Take PubMed as a huge database where basically you can find anything and take Web of Science as also a very huge database where you can find anything, but with one more trait, and that is the citation count. And what I really want you to do is to at least a bit play with these uh, two databases because this is going to really help you in your future scientific life. So let's get to it. Let's get to PubMed first of all. The advantage of PubMed is you don't need any access. You don't need any special passcodes and whatever. So you will just type in Google PubMed. And okay, so this is PubMed and up over here you got the link. Okay, if you want. And basically what I want you is to learn with this, to play with filters and, and, and you know, to try to find whatever you want. But let's say I'll, I'll show you the advanced features of search. So the cool thing is really, you know, here are many things you can check. But let's say you want to find newest articles and let's say the maximum that they would be six months old. So you're going to go to date of publication and over here you're going to put 2021 slash 05 slash 01 until present so you're going to add this filter or query box and you do search and now all the newest articles are displayed over here and of course you can use still more oh and look at that it's already set over here so let's unclick it and if you want to get more specific you're going to because over here you got anything those are reviews and whatever you want so if you want to get more specific let's click the clinical trials okay and over here you get again you have to search in this and you have to open more and more pages and but look at that here's some new article effectiveness of a smartphone based educational intervention to improve breastfeeding well so so that's uh, that sounds very interesting so let's click over here and it's good that it's a free full article but the thing you have to find, okay, you're going to read it. And if it's interesting or not, uh, well, uh, that's up to you. But the thing we would like you to is to find out how good is the journal at least. Okay, so, and there are many ways. So, so you can play, you know, you can search whatever article you want. But let's say that the rule is going to be, it should be in a journal, which is at least in the first or second Curtile in specific fields, okay? And over here you see a ID number, different coding systems, okay? PMID, PMCID, DOI. So basically from my experience and of many others, the simplest is the PMID. And why? Well, because over here you get just a number. So basically, if you write this number down on a paper or you display it in a cell phone, and then it's very easy to retype this number into any computer. And you will immediately find this article. So it's very, let's say, 
very comfortable to use the PMID number. So mostly I'm using PMID number. Okay, so but now the phase is okay. I, I found this article. It seems interesting. I like it. So I'll have to find if this journal, which is International Breastfeed Journal, if this journal is highly impacted. Okay, so the thing you, you're going to do is now we're going to get to Google again. And now we're going to get to Web of Science, okay? Because we want to know the ranking. We want to know the ranking maybe of the the paper, but it's a fresh paper. So, we, you know, it doesn't have to have a lot of citations. But very likely, if the paper is found in a highly ranked journal, it will also have many citations in the future. So the way how you're going to find how ranked is this journal is to go to Web of Science and we're going to have to use faculty servers to get there because it's paid and you need a password to get there. So if you're from Charles University, it's simple. If you're from other faculties, well, you have to use your own uh, access points through your faculties or universities. OK, but let's say the the way how you do it, it's just the same. So you're going to type over here for Charles University. You can type P-E-Z and you Type Charles University and Web of Science. And what it's going to do, it's going to send you right away to the access point, and we can put it in English, where you're going to get to the Web of Science. So you just click over here. Now you would put a password, but I have it over there, so it's not a problem for me, but you, you will have to put it there. And what you're going to do, you're going to put the PMID number over here, okay? And you just click and now you immediately see the you see the, the, the article, but already you see references over here. And you know what? Look at this. You click over here and now you see how the journal is doing. OK, and you see it's in if, if we talk about gynecology, if it's this field, it's like uh, ranked second in a second quartile. But if it's uh, concerning pediatrics, then it's first quartile. So this is a. This is a good, pretty good journal, so um, you can be sure the publication from over here, sort of, you know, it's, you cannot guarantee anything, but should be really good, okay? So, this was about PubMed and Web of Science. Thank you for your attention and see you around. So, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And as always, check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials.